Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Abby Smith. South Australia is in the spotlight today with the AFL's first gather round kicking off tonight. Games involving both the Crows and Power are expected to be popular, but now tickets to other games have been slashed to just $15 to try and attract bigger crowds. There is now a sale on with half price adult tickets for the two Friday games Richmond versus Sydney at Adelaide Oval and Gold Coast Suns versus Fremantle at Norwood. And you can get $15 adult tickets. SA Tourism Minister Zoe Betterson there. The federal government is allocating more funds to improve employment for Australians with disabilities. Social Services Minister Amanda Rishworth says that includes making workplaces more accessible. When it comes to workplace modifications, things like lifts or ramps, We'll be increasing the funding available from 30000 to $60,000. Former Liberal Minister Ken Wyatt has heaped criticism on his now former party over its opposition to the Indigenous voice to Parliament. Wyatt quit the Liberal Party due to its stance, accusing it of fear-mongering and misleading Australians about the proposed advisory body. Now Minister Simon Birmingham says that he will not campaign a no vote. Cyclone Ilsa is gaining strength as it closes in on the WA coast. It's expected to intensify to a Category 4 storm when it makes landfall between Port Hedland and Broome. A year's worth of rain is expected in just a couple of days. To overseas, the family of the Kentucky bank shooter has issued their first statement since the de- deadly mass shooting. They claim 25-year-old Connor Sturgeon had mental health challenges but didn't show any warning signs before opening fire at his workplace. Sturgeon shot and killed five people and wounded another eight during his rampage. Prince Harry has confirmed he will be attending his father's coronation next month. However, wife Meghan and their two children will be staying behind in California. And Donald Trump claims police officers and court staff were crying as he was arrested and arraigned in New York last week. In his first interview since his arraignment, the former US president says people were in tears or close to it. People were crying. People that work there that have no problems putting in murderers and they see everybody and they were crying. They were actually crying. They said, I'm sorry. They'd say, 2024, sir, 2024. And tears are pouring down. There is. Sport and entertainment next. Adelaide is eyeing a third consecutive win after victories against Port Adelaide and Fremantle. Coach Matthew Nix is looking forward to SA being in the spotlight with the gather round. For us to be able to show off what we know is a, you know, a beautiful state. We might get a bit of flack from other states, but when people come to this state, they realise how, how beautiful it is and what we've got. Colton Sam Walsh will play his first game of the season. Walsh is one of three inclusions for the Blues, with Blake Akers and Matt Kennedy both returning. And in tennis, the setbacks for Alex Dimonor and Alexi Popperin ahead of the French Open next month. Both have suffered second-round losses at the Monte Carlo Masters. In entertainment, a Polish girl who claimed to be Madeleine McCann has issued an apology. DNA testing has proved 21-year-old Julia Wendell is not the missing British girl. She's now apologised to the McCann family. Wendell gained more than a million followers on Instagram and TikTok when she first made her claims. Jeremy Renner has walked the red carpet for the first time since his near-fatal snowplow accident. The 52-year-old actor broke 30 bones in the accident, forcing him to use a cane and motorised scooter at the premiere of his Disney Plus show, Renovations. And actor Matthew McConaughey has opened up about a scary incident on board a flight last month. The plane was hit by severe turbulence on a flight from Texas to Frankfurt and left seven people in hospital. Suspended disbelief. I mean, it's zero gravity. And then Everything just comes crashing down. Uh, my tray table is what held me down. I did not have my seatbelt on. Yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a hell of a scare. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update.